C4s, they were sugars. Tropical blades. Hey, it's Brian Light back with a review you can use. And here we have our before and after segment on this channel. So this is a drink that I've had uh, probably way too many times, but I've never taken it as a pre-workout. Sometimes I do it for energy, but it takes me, oh, five, six hours to drink a can like this. Um, so I'm not gonna chug it on camera, but I am gonna drink it a little bit faster than I normally do. Now I have to, I normally drink it at room temperature. So this is the Tropical Blast from C4 energy to perform and um, so I'm gonna take it as a pre-workout explosive energy mental alertness it does help with that so zero sugars zero calories 200 milligrams of caffeine and I've had none today so this is gonna be interesting and I'm also I put it in the refrigerator for a while to chill it down a little bit it's not too cold um, I kind of wanted to knock some of the carbonation I've never poured this into anything so I don't even know what color it is and hey, look at that it's clear so Tropical Blast has got that ubiquitous tropical uh, flavors, although it's more mango. I get more mango than, say, would get like Hawaiian Punch or something like that. It's crystal clear. It's an artificial, um, sorry, artificial everything as far as flavor. It does taste sweet, um, and Toby's going after a towel. So we have carbonated water, citric acid, uh, there is um, sucralose, well no kidding. This does not have creatine in it, which is fine. Uh, so it has explosive performance energy blend, citrulline malate, beta alanine, beta, uh, beta, god it's so small I can't hardly read it. But there is 6.73 grams of that stuff. And there's 20 or 200 milligrams of caffeine and and andros anadros in there. Anyway, taste wise, it's okay. Uh, for the pre canned ones, these are aren't bad. I actually like the flavor of the Bang uh, drinks more. And then there's also Rain, which seems to be like similar thing, almost identical. It's got QC uh, Q, QC10. You know, it's not CQ10, QC10, and, and those I actually, my brain really wakes up with. It's really wild. At some point, now they have some shot stuff that they've got. And it was at Jungle Gyms the other day. I saw Bang had a powder. Now it was like two bucks a serving. I'm going to do a little more research into it. It's a pre workout. It's the only time I've ever seen it mentioned as being a pre workout. Now C4 makes a pre workout as well. Uh, and we've reviewed some of them. Now they've got so many varieties, I'm going to have to try them all. But. To me, this is very mango-y, uh, which isn't bad. It's, it's very easy to drink, uh, smooth, I guess you could say. Very carbonated. On flavor, though, I give it probably about a seven, maybe a seven and a half. I've had better ones because I like the rain and the, the bang. Those are like eights and nines to me. So we'll see. So uh, this is, like I said, it's a before and after. I'm going to try and drink this. Uh, I don't want to take too long because I've got a bunch of other crap to do. Um, I'm still back trying to get back into a cycle of stuff and so I will be doing some squats. I might do some uh, dips as well. I haven't decided. We'll see what this shoulder lets me do. But I definitely have to do some squats. Maybe I might do some deadlift kind of warm up ish things after some squats. Not really heavy. Just kind of, you know, just kind of get my back a little bit stretched out but not too much. Gotta get ready for skiing. Alright, so uh, we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna be back in whatever time it takes and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, just got back from the gym uh, and my take on C this kind of C4 as a pre-workout. It's not bad. Uh, it's nice if you have nothing else and you need some strength. It does have a slightly thermogenic effect. I noticed right before I went to the gym I started to feel pretty warm. Um, it, I had good energy, good focus. My biggest thing is the carbonation. The carbonation is what gets me every time on these things, and especially when I'm doing heavy squats and I start belching a lot. That's my only take, my only detractor. I mean, it does have that kind of sickening sweet uh, flavor that a lot of these pre-workouts have. I'd rather have a little bit more sour, but hey, that's probably all the sucralose in it. It would be nice to know how much of the beta alanine and all that stuff is in here. 
It may be that there's just not enough room to put that on this label. I don't know. Because um, having that proprietary blend at 6.7 grams, you're not sure what the breakdown is inside that. Uh, so I, I, I believe, I'm suspic well, not suspicious, but um, I, I believe that it probably does not have an enough beta alanine and, and, and the like, considering you should have about 5 or 6 grams of that alone. But overall, not bad uh, if you're in a pinch, because this stuff, it's like 2.30-ish a, a can. This can is one serving. So it's over $2 a serving, so if you have a choice to get the mix, even the C4 mix is cheaper than that. Some of your better uh, pre-workouts are around that for serving, even when you buy a tub, but they're much better than this. So for the money, that's a bit. Of a, I find this a bit expensive for as a pre-workout. Uh, when I have these at work, and so I'm drinking on them for five or six hours, the energy I get sustains throughout the day, and that's not so bad. But as a pre-workout, yeah, it's a little pricey for the, what you're getting. So overall, as far as C4 is concerned, you know, flavor is probably about about a seven. Um, the value is about a five because it really about a dollar, maybe a uh, dollar ten a serving is what C4 usually runs, uh, especially if you get on sale. But hey, if you can buy this by the case and get the price down. But if you're in a pinch, you're headed to the gym. CO2, the carbonation doesn't bother you, and you have nothing else, uh, this would be okay. Coffee might work better, but, you know. So you get what you, you, you get, you're paying for convenience here, but you're not paying for performance. So overall, probably about six and a half when I say it's all said and done. So what do you think? You think uh, the, the C4 on the go here uh, on is uh, original, is a little bit... Uh, Pricey, not pricey enough. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Can you pause your thing a moment? Why? Because I don't want to get a copyright strike. That stuff shows up on my video. Hurry up, dog. That's not a whole lot of water in there left. What? Uh, yes, yeah. it's on. It's on. Yeah. Hopefully you don't see that dog going across there. No, never mind. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well Dozer started going bruh, bruh, and he was still looking this way and I thought he was, and then he turned around and went to the window. Oh, it's very caramely. It is. It's almost too much. It's very caramely and chocolatey. Hints of chocolate in mm -hmm. the, but I like it better than the other one. Yeah. All right, did I do this yet? Did I, did I slate it? No. Marker?